Ladies and gentlemen, this will probably be the hardest show that I'll ever do. At least that will be. This has been. This will be the hardest show I've done. That's why I'm doing a cold opening today. If you expect me to hold back today, you came into the wrong show. If you want a lighter topic, you got to find a different episode because this is not what you're finding today. I'll give the real open. I will give my opening in a second. But this episode requires a cold read straight out the gate. America is under attack. Not physically, because like Sun Tzu said, the strongest warrior is he who never has to unsheath his sword. But another nail was driven into the coffin of America yesterday. Most of you probably didn't even see it. That's how smart these people are. That's how smart these slow life pieces of garbage are. They're so clever. They do it when you're not even looking. I just want to prepare you. I'm not holding back today. So if you want authentic, you want it raw, you want it real, you came to the right place. Because I'm not holding back today. Those of you who don't know what you're listening to, you're listening to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast. We talk about people, politics, and popular culture. You're listening to Austin Creed, and my, my friends, this is not an easy day. For those of you who watch golf, you know what happened yesterday. Most of you don't watch golf. Most of you think that golf is stupid. I understand. But here's what you need to understand. You need to understand that the, the Saudi royal family has basically bought out golf. They sponsored this company. They backed this company with billions of dollars called Live Golf, which just merged with the PGA Tour. Yes, the, the Saudi crown prince was the one who made the investment. That low-life piece of human trash who has been charged with tr- crimes against humanity... And they are worth over a trillion dollars. They uh, they just they kill people for dis- for disrespecting their religion. They put women in cloaks. They put women in basically cattle. They make them less than cattle. And they have the nerve to come into our country and buy us out from underneath our noses. They already run the energy industry. They already control the oil reserves, the largest oil reserves on the planet, based on what I know. And then they have the gall. No, no, no. Not even them. I don't blame them for doing it. I blame a government for letting them do it. I've, how, how does a Congress, how does a president, how does a Supreme Court allow a foreign entity, a foreign government to buy a, basically buy a professional sport? How? How does this happen? How does this happen in my country? How? How does this happen? And for those of you who say, oh, well, you know, I'm Austin, it's a free market, so, like, I don't understand why you're upset. Schmuck, they don't believe in free anything. Don't you get it? They're using our system to buy us out and sell us the chains that we put on our own wrists and they're leading us onto the plantation. That's what's happening underneath your nose. Why do you think Fox News got rid of Tucker Carlson? Oh, you didn't hear about that, did you? No, because the Saudis own part of the network, schmuck. When the hell are you going to wake up to what they're doing to you? I fully explain. I fully expect by the time this show goes on YouTube, I'm going to get banned. I guarantee you. I guarantee you they'll ban me because I have the guts to tell the truth. And that's why you listen to me. That's why you haven't hung up the show yet. Because this is how you feel. But you can't say it because you think that your co-workers, that your friends, that the people on the internet are going to judge you. I don't give a damn what they say about me. How's that? I don't care what they have to say about me. I've heard it all. I don't care. Here, let me show you something. You know what's bad? When I look at Amnesty International. That's how bad this is. When I actually agree with that, what they say about the Saudi Arabian royal family. Even the mainstream media is noting that this Live Golf organization 
is run by Saudi money. Even they're the ones pointing this out. Even they have to know, even liberals at some point come to know that they're in danger. Even they come to understand when they're being sold down the river and they're in danger. Why else do you think they're mentioning it to you? I think we should take a second. I'm getting a little too hot and heavy too early. I think we need to dial it back just a little bit. Don't want to scare people away. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take time out of the program today to read you the article I found from Amnesty International. And we're going to go through and we are going to read what they say, what they're, they have bones to pick with the Saudi Arabian royal family. So let's look at what Amnesty International has to say. I will let them do the talking. Look at this. 10 ways that Saudi Arabia, in other words, the royal family, because they're the gangster regime that runs the place, how they violate human rights. And keep in mind, they are in the United Nations who claims to care about humanity and act in the best interest of humanity. And yet they have low life pieces of garbage like this in the UN who actively treat people like garbage. I want you to keep that in mind. Here it is. Let's look back at 2015. Uh, by the way, if you are a commentator or a journalist or anything else in the media, they hate you unless you say exactly what they want you to say. Otherwise, you'll end up like this guy who got sentenced to a thousand, a thousand lashes and 10 years in prison for, quote, insulting Islam. How do you like that? How do you like that? You insult the religion and they give you 10 years in jail and a thousand lashes. How's that? And that's just for insulting the religion. Oh, don't worry. I haven't even showed you the number one. Look at this. Number one, torture is a usual punishment in Saudi Arabia. The courts, a court. You hear this? It's not a court. The closest thing they get to a court is a latrine, as far as I'm concerned. Courts in Saudi Arabia continue to sentence people to be punished by torture for many offenses, often including unfair trials. There's no such thing as a fair trial in a gangster-run country. There is no such thing. Corporal punishment, like flogging, for example, is a cruel, inhumane, and degrading punishment. Don't tell that to the Saudi Arabian government, a.k.a. the royal family, who claims to be in the UN and cares about human rights. Has no place in the justice system. Well, what are we doing about it? Oh, that's right. We're buying their oil. Oh, that's right. We're asking them to pump more oil. Oh, that's right. We're increasing trade with them. Oh, that's right. We're allowing them to buy up everything from under your nose, you schmuck you, who was too busy watching the A's game last night or was too busy obsessing about the Nuggets the, for the first time in the NBA Finals. Who cares about that when we have to deal with this? Who cares about that when we have to deal with this? This is much bigger of an issue here. Executions are on an increase. How do you like that? Saudi Arabia is the, amongst the world's top executioners with dozens of people being executed by the state every year, many of whom are publicly beheaded in public. What is this? Back in the Middle Ages? No free speech. Wow. Shocking. You mean to tell me that a regime that in, uh, sentenced somebody to a thousand lashes and ten years in prison for, quote, insulting Islam... Doesn't believe in free speech? Oh my gosh, I would have never... Cue the collective gasp, I would have never guessed that one. They don't ha There is no freedom in Saudi Arabia. Zero. No protests. Oh, look at that. In other words, again, gangster regime running the country who is worth... Last time I checked, 1.4 trillion with a T. Trillion dollars. And they just basically bought... Golf. How do you like that? Women. Listen, you feminists out there. Listen up very carefully to what I'm about to tell you. You ready for this? I know you don't want to hear it. I know what you want to hear me say is, Ooh, you know, that Trump. That Trump is bad and evil and he's probably a misogynist. And I think uh, we should go and... Oh, you evil MAGA Republicans. You're probably ultra MAGA and you're probably horrible and we want to deport you. No. That's what you want me to say. But this is what I'm going to say. Women are widely discriminated against. Yes, yes, you feminists who love the Muslims. 
especially the radical ones. They hate women. They control you. They put you in a cloak. You look like a ninja from the days gone by in Japan. And yet you advocate for these people. You hate me more than you hate this. You hate me more than you hate a piece of garbage like the crown prince or the royalty in Saudi Arabia. And it's, this is not limited to Saudi Arabia. Look at Afghanistan. What happened is the minute we pulled out of Afghanistan. What happened then? Look at Iran. What they're doing to the people, especially the women. Where are the feminists when they actually are needed in the world? Answer, nowhere because it's all built on fraud. They say they care about women's rights. Well, what about these women who need their rights? Where are you? Where are you? Nowhere because you're a fraud. Number six, torture, again, and police custody, no less, and it's common. Number seven, you can be detained and arrested for no reason. In other words, it's back what the USSR used to do. They pick you up off the street for criticizing the government like I'm doing right now. If I was in Saudi Arabia right now, I wouldn't have lasted the first minute in this broadcast. And they would have already, you would have seen two guys, two big guys in, in garb pull up uh, pull up on in my room and arrest me religious discrimination is rife oh oh you mean that they don't like the fact that you might disagree with their religion huh i would never have guessed that it's not like they already pointed out that for insulting their religion you get a thousand lashes and 10 years in jail there are rapists in this country who don't even get that much of a sentence. And that's just for insulting their religion. Can you believe this? Migrant workers have been deported. Oh, oh, you mean they're not big on immigration because they're not big on change? Shocking. Shocking. Human rights organizations are banned. Hmm. How do you like that? Human rights are organizations are banned. Not censored. Banned. How do you like that? And these people just got a, drove another nail into the coffin of America by buying the, the by buying up the PGA Tour, and now they basically own golf. Now today it's golf. Tomorrow it could be basketball. It could be football. It could be your TV station. It could be your radio station. It could be YouTube. It could be Rumble. You never know what's coming tomorrow, and that's the point I'm making on this show today. Now it's golf. What's it going to be tomorrow? There are athletes like Tiger Woods and others who took a pay cut because they didn't want to throw in their t their hat to the Saudi Arabian gangsters. But guess what? Now they don't even have a choice to do that anymore. They removed that choice. They are getting rid of choice in this country through the back door. Does, do they need to show up? Do they need to show up to your door and, and march you outside for you to know what's going on? Is that, what, is that what they need to do? If that's true, then you are already a slave. And they're just waiting to slap the chains on you. I'm not mincing words anymore. I didn't go through all this time to mince words in this time, in this age. Look at this. Accused of crimes against humanity. In my opinion, he's guilty. This guy is a... He's a gangster. He's a... Mafioso, who's trying to promote himself to a godfather. Oh, did you guys forget about the Washington Post newspaper columnist who was killed in, uh, in Istanbul? Oh, you forgot about that, didn't you? Oh, I haven't. That's why I brought it up right here. The Saudi Arabia denies that the crown prince was involved in this murder. Oh my, no. You mean to tell me that he wasn't going to come out and say, you know, I did it. I'm sorry. Here's a smoking gun. Here's the here's the deed. Here's this and here's that. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. The guy has $1.4 trillion at his disposal. You really think he can't afford to make it disappear? Get a cleaner like the Godfather did? You really don't think he can do it? Then you're clueless. You're delusional. Half of you probably have septum piercings and you're already practically a bull. 
in a field. This is this is the corruption of the highest order. Complete and utter corruption. My voice is fading by how triggered I'm getting because of the show today. My voice is already starting to give out because I'm just fuming over what's what I'm looking at here. And they're trying to pretend like, oh, it's such a good thing. Look at this. Even the New York Times says the PGA Tour supporters and other critics. Let me share the screen again. PGA Tour supporters and other critics of Live Golf said the venture was simply an attempt by the Saudi government to distract attention from its human rights record. This is the New York Times who wrote this. Not me, not Ben Shapiro, not Matt Walsh, not any of these people on the right in America. It was the left wingers who supposedly hate Trump, who hate Trump supporters. They pointed this out. They realize this has to do with their survival. They know that they could be next at any point in time. They are using the courts. They are using our laws as a way to hang us by our own petard. And that is what they're pointing out. But they can't say it outright because then they, can, they will be sued. Don't you see that? They can't say what I just said. They can't say that, but they just implied it. My friends, this is a coffin, a nail in the coffin of America. They are buying us up. You got China buying up our farmland. You got the Saudis dipping their beaks into every facet of entertainment and energy they can get their hands on. We're being attacked from every angle. And where is our damn government? Where is Joe Biden? Where is... Where is Speaker of the House McCarthy? Where are these people? Answer, nowhere because they sold you down the river. Answer, they don't care as long as they get a kickback or they get reelected. They don't care. They do not care because the people are so sheepish and so stupid that they think that they're still going to vote for them because, oh, where else do they have to go? <laughs> no righteous person or any decent person can actually get their campaign funded without big tech and big media and everything else. So what the hell do I have to worry about? Answer nothing. What are your opinions on this? You've heard me go on and on and on. What are your opinions on the matter? You've heard me talk about this for almost 20 minutes. What what thoughts do you have on this? Am I overreacting? Am I just a shock jock? Am I do I have not have a righteous do I not have the re, any rational reason to be upset? I think you're clueless. I think you're clueless. And you're so out of touch with reality if you actually think that I'm overreacting to this. Oh, Austin, it's just an obscure sport that most people watch like they listen to NPR to go to sleep. It's just that those old people who watch it, who cares? I don't care. It doesn't affect me, really. Eh, you're just overreacting. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just shut up, dummy up. And, you know, whatever. I don't care. Um, you know, I would love to, I would be remiss if I did not also point out, I pointed out the discrimination, the discrimination that women face in Saudi Arabia, but you know, there's one thing that they really forgot to mention. Um, they also harbor nothing but hatred for the LGBTQ plus crowd. Oh yes, you think Saudi Arabia is friendly you, to the rainbow crowd? You must be joking. Did you see what ISIS did? Did you see what Al-Qaeda does? Have you seen what 
they uh, allegedly do. Allegedly, they throw gays off of roofs. They burn them alive. In other words, as soon as you they you they find out that you're not completely in line with everything that the holy book calls for, they get rid of you because you're a defective human being. Don't have to take my word for it. Look it up. Go ahead, look it up. It's illegal to be gay or trans or bisexual or queer or anything else in Saudi Arabia. As it's illegal to criticize Islam, as it's illegal to be outside your house if you're a woman without your husband. Oh, you didn't hear about that, did you? No, because you don't read the Quran. I do. I know what it says. I know what it says about the infidel. I know what it says about non-Muslims. I know what it says about women. I know what it says about these people. And I challenge anybody listening to the show who says I'm lying or, quote, misrepresenting. Go ahead. Hit me up on Twitter at Austin Creed. Hit me up. Let's talk about it. Because, and, and don't don't walk in there and say, Austin, you're just a shock jock loser bum. You know, you need to F off, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to respond to you. But if you quote, you don't think I can quote the sutra? I'll quote the sutra. I'll quote the verse. I will quote all of it. But of course, you wouldn't know that. I don't hear about Christians doing these things. I don't hear about Jews doing these things. No, it's just it's just the lovely pieces of garbage in the Middle East that do this. That's why they hate Israel, by the way, because they hate Jews. Arabs and Jews have been at war since the uh, days of um, Jacob and Esau, basically. Or it could even go back to Isaac and Ishmael, like it does in the Quran. Because they trace their lineage through Ishmael, whereas Judaism and Christianity trace it through Isaac. I don't want you to listen to everything you just heard and then go on with your day and say, Oh, well, you know, that was entertaining. Uh, you know what, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, maybe he's going to blow a gasket on the air, you know, at some point because he just can't control himself. You know, he's just another shock jock, nobody. Say what you want about me. I really couldn't care less about it. But just so you know, you live in this country too. You really think that when the final nail is driven into the coffin of America, that you're just going to be able to get out of that coffin? Mm, I don't think so. Because the, co- the body inside that coffin has a left and right side. And if only the right side is pushing... I'll try to try to get out of the coffin. It's not going to have the strength to do it. Versus if both the left and the right did it, they could destroy the entire coffin altogether. And the people trying to drive the nails through it. But of course, most people don't even know they're in a coffin or know that they're in trouble and that their nation is being commandeered and destroyed. They don't know it. They don't realize that Uncle Sam is being thrown in the back of a, of a paddy wagon and being put in the insane asylum by his own family. You don't know that. You don't see it. Because it's not being told to you, except by people like me who get dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very defining moment, and I'm sick and I'm tired of it just going by. I'm sick of it. Because today is golf, tomorrow it could be anybody else. Your company... Big big tech company. Could be anything. You never know. And if you do nothing. If we do nothing. Who's going to stop them? Nobody. Ladies and gentlemen of the Sheep Get Sheared podcast. Do you have any quorums or qualms with anything that I said today? You can leave it in the comment section of this video. Or... You want to have a debate, you want to have a conversation, hit me up on Twitter, at Austin Creed. We can discuss it. I'll show you where you're wrong, but we can discuss it. Anyways, my friends, that's the message I wanted to get across to you today. And like I said, do not turn this show off and go back to your life and not act on anything that you heard today. 
Look up the story for yourself. The merger of Live, of Live Golf and the PGA Tour. And look at all the, the dirty factors in play. Do it. I challenge you to look at that story and not come to a similar conclusion than I came to. Anyways, my friends. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless the United States of America that is not owned by Saudi Arabia. We're out of here. God bless you. You take care.